Hello everyone. Did you check out what I got on the counter here? Yeah, we're going to make crock pot stuffed bell peppers Mexican style. We're going to take the same ingredients that we love, add a few extra things to give it that Mexican flavor. All right. We're going to slow cook these all day or you can slow cook them half a day. It depends on when you want them. You ready? It's still hot outside, so I'm still showing you some recipes that you don't need an oven for. Let's go. The first thing we're going to do is start cooking our rice. We want to make sure that it is cooked rice going into the mixture before we stuff the peppers. Now we're going to be yielding one cup of cooked rice. So I'm going to start in a medium saucepan over high heat. I'm going to add in one cup of chicken broth. We're going to bring this to a boil. Now let's talk about our rice really quick. What you're going to want is some sort of long grain white rice for this recipe is what I use. Now I'm using the Mahatma rice. I really like the Basmati rice also, but it all depends on what's in the store. So that's what we're going to be using. Once our liquid starts coming to a boil, we're going to go ahead and add the rice. Give it a stir. Turn down your heat to a low setting. We're going to put our lid on it. Now I'm going to cook the rice five minutes less than the time on the back of the package. So this will be about a 15 minute rice here because we don't want it too soft. While the rice is cooking, you can go ahead and start preparing your bell peppers. Now I'm using all green today. I really love the green for the flavor. It's really delicious. So what you're going to do is wash off your bell peppers. Now I'm using a six quart crock pot and it will hold five medium bell peppers in the bottom. So what you want to do is just take a sharp knife, cut off the top. Now just take your knife and break the membrane. Just go all along the sides of the inside. And then you can just pop that seed pocket right out like that. And then just go in and just pull out what you don't want. Okay, if it needs help standing up and it's kind of whopper jawed like that, you can just tip it over. Just cut off the part of your pepper on the bottom. Just a little snippet there. And then that'll make it nice and even all the way around. And don't go through the pepper because then your mixture will come out. So just a little tip of it. And now what I'm going to do is just take some of the pepper off the top. And just cut it into little, little small dices. So we'll add that to the mixture. But cut them up really small, that way they cook. Now bell peppers come in many different colors. You can get them yellow, you can get them in red, orange, you can do a multiple colors. Now since these are going in the crock pot, we are not going to be parboiling our peppers for this dish. They'll soften up really good in the crock pot. Okay, I'm going to take a yellow onion. We're going to start preparing that. Get that outer layer off. Dice it up. Cut it in half. Drag your knife through a couple of times. Cut three quarters of the way through along the lines. And then drag your knife through. I'm going to do half an onion. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead now and make that mixture for inside of the peppers. Just got a medium bowl. We're going to add one pound of ground beef. We're going to add our cooked rice. We're going to add in 10 ounces of red enchilada sauce. Now I've got a few teaspoons of taco seasoning. Now this is my homemade blend. You can use about like one third packet if you're using a store brand. This will enhance the flavors of that enchilada sauce. All right, we got some salt and pepper. We're gonna go in about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and black pepper. There we go. We're going to add one cup of shredded Mexican cheese blend. Or you can use cheddar cheese if you want to do that. I'm going to add in about one handful of the diced bell pepper tops. Put in our half of a yellow onion that we diced. All right, I'm just going to put some gloves on. These are kitchen gloves used for mixing ingredients. I love to use these for like meatballs, meatloaf, anything ground beef. <laughs> all right, we're going to mix this all together. All right, we're going to bring our peppers over and start stuffing them. This smells good. I can only imagine what it'll do at the end. We still got some other stuff we're going to do. All right, we're going to take a large spoon and we're going to start stuffing our peppers. Stuff them full. Well, it smells good in there. <laughs> it smells like enchiladas going on. There we go. Let's bring our crock pot back over. Okay, we're going to want to steam our peppers while they're in the crock pot. And I want to do that with adding some flavor. So I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth to the bottom of the crock pot. It'll give it a nice sauce too that you can just kind of pour over your peppers when they're done. To that, I'm going to add about one cup of salsa. Mm, oh yeah, that's going to steam all into these peppers too. There we go. Now, I'm just using a paste, picante, and this is just a medium, so you can use mild or hot, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to kind of mix this together. All right, let's place our peppers in. Now, I always like to place my peppers in way before anything to make sure that I can fit five of them into the crock pot. <laughs> you might have to play a little Tetris with them, but you should be able to get them all in there. Perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is place the lid on. We're gonna cook this on low for six hours or on high for four hours. You wanna make sure the peppers are nice and soft and that ground beef is cooked all the way through. Now, we're gonna do one more thing to it at the end. 
and then I'm going to give them a try for you. I'll be back. Okay, don't those look good? They're done. What we're going to do is add some cheese to the tops of each of the peppers. We're going to want the cheese to melt. What we're going to do is keep the crock pot on a high heat. Put the lid on just long enough until that cheese melts. What do y'all think of my crock pot Mexican style stuffed bell peppers? We're using ground beef, rice, cheese, Mexican flavors, enchilada sauce. Deliciousness, right? Okay, let's dive in. All right, I'm ready to take a bite for you. Mm. Okay, that's really delicious. The meat mixture, you can definitely tell there's Mexican flavors in there. Mm. I'm so done. That is delicious. I love those peppers. Mm. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments of my Mexican style stuffed bell peppers, slow cooked all day. All right, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below in that bell notification. That way you'll always know when my shows are posted, like this one here. I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mmm.